Hello everyone, I am Orbit, and today I want to show you a simple and easy technique done with free software such as Serial that can heavily improve your dull narrowband images. This technique is meant to really make the O3 signal and your dull narrowband images pop out a lot more than it does. Because when you shoot with OSC cameras and dull narrowband, the oxygen signal can very easily get lost and can sometimes be very difficult to process out. So this is going to make it a lot easier to process the O3 signal and will make it pop pretty much off the bat. So let's get straight into how to do it. All right, so we are here in Serial now. I already have a background extracted, color calibrated, and starless image. You're gonna need this to be starless, so your stars are not affected by any of the processes we're gonna be doing. So preserve your stars and get rid of them before doing this technique. Uh, so to start with the technique, after you've done all that, we're going to go to image processing. We are going to go down to extraction and then up to split channels. Then you can see right here, I have names selected for what to name them. Uh, color space is set to RGB. And this is going to save uh, to a certain place in our files. And we're going to recomposite this later. So you can see both the green and the blue I'm using for O3. Although these files do need to be named different. So you, I just use a different, I use a zero up here and then an O down here. So we're going to hit apply. And it's going to tell you where it saves it. So like, if you look up here on the top, it'll show you your directory to where it's going to save these files. So now you are going to want to go over here in your console to conversion. And I already put it in there. But you're going to want to put your green and blue channels in here. here and we're just going to hit convert. And then we're going to go to stacking and you can just see our quick uh, stacking settings and then start stacking and it will combine that green and that blue channel together. So we'll save that as just put OX uh, for oxygen. We're just going to save that as an oxygen file. So we only have one and we'll put both, we'll put this same image in both the green and blue channels. So just save that. Okay, so now you want to go back to image processing. You want to go to RGB compositing. Okay, in here you're going to want to go to your files where the image is saved. And you're going to want to put the auction file in the blue, in the green, and the HA file in the red. And as you can see, that gives you this image right here, which as you can see, it's a lot more blue but the oxygen is a lot more kind of popped out, but we also don't want this to be so blue that it's almost like reducing our HA. So we're just gonna give this a color calibration. Gonna go somewhere in the background, uh, like back here. Select a little area, uh, use current selection, background visualization, and boom. So this will give you a big apparent difference so let's uh, compare it before and after all right so let's compare the before and after as you can see the o3 channel is way more popped out here than it is over in this side as you can see in this area in all these areas where all the blue is you can see is a lot more popped out than in this area and overall the o3 is a lot more popped out and this will make processing the o3 channel to a lot more easier now that it's kind of just up here up front uh, so here is actually a comparison of before this technique and after with a full kind of uh, process going on so you can see just how big of a difference it makes and why this is such a good technique that you need to start using so I hope you find this video helpful uh, learn something and I will see you guys next time